welcome back to Hungry for Success, episode 27. Yeah, 27? Uh, it is, 27. Um, today we play Spain in our Euro qualifier group, and then we have a friendly against Trinidad and Tobago. Um, however, unlikely, a, be, a, a win, I was going to say a defeat. Obviously, we, there's a high chance we're going to get beaten by Spain. But if we beat them, we go second in the group. Um, I'd like a draw. That would be ideal. The Trinidad and Tobago game is purely for us to recover after we get absolutely smashed by Spain. Um, we've not been helped by injuries. Um, a, lot, a lot of our players are injured. Our best right back is injured. Um... William is quite, he's on the tired side, so he could probably come off the bench. Um, our best striker, Chobot, is injured. Um, pretty much every defender, every centre-back we have is injured. So we're bringing Pap, who is not good enough to play against Spain, basically. He's playing relatively well in the Hungarian uh, top division. And Mata Gaspar, who recently moved to Discure, I'm sure that's how you said, um, and he's been playing for their second team in the third division. Other than those two, we have no other centre backs uh, available. Um, we do have a couple of debutants in the team, um, a left back because we have had another bunch, whole bunch of injuries to our left backs. Um, Karash uh, is just. A, Decent looking left back. Not great for what we want, but best of a bad bunch. Um, Gazart is a decent right back who looks like he might be okay. And um, Samonka, who is an attacking midfielder who looks pretty tasty. He's 18, played six times and scored twice for the under 21s. Um, he's playing for Ujpest, so like he's average ratings are pretty shit, but he's been playing decent. So I've decided to call all of them up, um, and I'm starting Rado up front because I did think about playing uh, Christopher Vida, but he's not the kind of striker I really want to play. Summon Avatni gets recalled, not really the striker I want to be playing there either. Um, and Gabor Fur is quite tired. So I'm going to just start Rado and then probably bring on Fair. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same team that we had last time, except uh, Anodi isn't com after coming back in. Is, is he saying? He's not making his... P Galaski's not making his debut. Um, Kovacic... Kovacic is coming in for, for this game. So all my keepers are at least 32. Um, they have a Naki Williams up front. Hmm. You know, they're playing a very defensive formation for a team that are playing against Hungary. Yeah, we got nothing to lose. Go and show everyone what we are capable of. Um, actually, it's going to tell everyone that I have faith because I was going to say there's no pressure. But I would prefer to just be like, here, love, we've, I have faith in all of you. I go out and do whatever you want. Um, Willie Orban's making his 50th appearance, which is very nice for him. Um, it's not my place. I don't care about the Bulgarian manager. His position means nothing to me. Um, Azerbaijan are playing Estonia, and that is... They're duking it out for bottom of the group. So, so far, dominating Spain. I've made a couple of changes to the uh, team instructions. Um, we're not working the ball into the box anymore. Um, I think against Spain, that's probably a bad idea to try and outplay them. So I just decided to cross bot the, the ball in instead of working it in to, uh, into the box. Uh, but then again, I didn't realise they were going to be playing so defensive. And Palco, dare they! Of everyone in the team currently, himself and uh, Kekesh have played the most. Uh, but Kekesh had a goal more than him. So now they're equal. So my right midfielder and my centre-back have uh, 
six games played and two goals scored each. So unless Kekesh, both my centre backs are now no, uh, booked, and Willie Orban's going to be suspended for the next game because that is his second yellow in two games. I think he got booked against Denmark as well. Also, I didn't want to talk about uh, the Denmark game. We lost against Peru as well um, in that friendly that was set up for no apparent reason. We I sent oh, Matty Vida just hits the, the woodwork. Um, I sent out a, a very, very rotated side just to see what they'd do. Um, and not a lot was really the answer. It was 2-1, like I think. Rado, why didn't you shoot? Ugh. I technically don't have a striker on the pitch because Rado is more of an attacking midfielder. Um, but this is kind of like a throwback to having uh, Vida and Nagy in centre midfield because that's not the midfield partnership we started with but it was a fairly early on partnership we we used and Anaki Williams ooh, how did he miss that uh, Anaki Williams is a threat actually it looks like why are we not marking him tightly Um, we're going to press De Gea and we're going to tackle them boys super hard. Um, Kepa on the the bench for the span. How old is De Gea in this? Oh, he's only 32. Okay, never mind. I was going to say it's probably like a 35 year old. Um, a 35 year old keeper, but. He's not. Uh, need you to calm down to avoid getting booked. Um, weren't that bad, I know you can still improve. Okay, well, they don't really care that much. Let's have a look at fitness. Vida's a little tired. Chalet and Rado's a little tired, but eh, they'd be fine. Work on, lads. Azerbaijan and Estonia are still drawing. By the looks that they are. Come on the Aziri. Aziri is uh, a language I've always wanted to learn. But um, it's very difficult to find places where you can actually, you know, learn it. Not many places actually teach Aziri. They've just taken off their wonder kid for uh, Abel Ruiz. Um, Chalet. Really struggling. He has recently, there's been a couple of transfers actually. gilaski has gone to Napoli. Um, who else has made a move? Chalet has gone to Wolfsburg, I think it is, or was it Bremen? I think it was Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg. Um, for 18 million, I think it was. Um, and William is probably back, going back to, uh, well, let's say going back to Brazil. He new gen in. Uh, hungry and is now looking like he's off to Brazil even though he's got a lot of interest from English clubs and a couple of Portuguese clubs but it doesn't look like he is going to be going to um, either of those countries and uh, speaking of we are going to bring him on um, I'm going to bring him on as a deep lane playmaker because that's what he is best at um, and I'm gonna save that last substitution for now. Um, I don't want, I'd really prefer if Orban and Kekish didn't get booked, but they're also our centre backs, so chances are Willie Orban's gonna get sent off. And because I said it, he's definitely gonna get sent off now because I have said, Oh, hopefully, he doesn't get sent off. Mm, hopefully, he doesn't get sent off. Palco Derde goes back to Made Vida. Vida skies it. Um, I've been getting an awful lot of shit in the uh, uh, the press about having Gabor Fair playing for uh, for the first team or for the national team. 
I don't see why he's got all the ability that you could possibly want from a player. He just seems to not get the uh, the nicest press, I suppose you'd say. Uh, they do kind of complain that he shouldn't be in the first in the national team. There's other strikers better than him. But if you, like, according to my assistant manager, there's not. And I'd like to, I like the idea of bringing in some youth and stuff as Ali. Oh, Willie. Golaski bombs it away. Butka, who, regardless of how many times I decide I'm going to drop him, somehow manages to get back into the team. Abel Ruiz. Oh, oh. What a save. We should probably stop attacking, you know? I'm just saying, that's probably something we should we should consider. But anybody who's been watching me knows that's not what we do. Gonna give him a cheeky little bit of praise right at the end. Has it gone through? It has, okay. We've beaten Spain. We've beaten España. And I gave a debut to Simonka. My uh, 18 year old Hungarian Beauty. He looks like he could be. Like, his. Oh, promising indeed. He he could be an absolute worldly. That was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance. And you only went and fucking did it. Uh, Chalet. Not pleased with what I saw tonight. So we have gotten one of those players um, a cap for the first team, for the main the main part of the country. Kekesh, absolute worldly of a player. Vida delighted with monumentous or momentous win. I I can't believe that we the mood within buoyant or. Oh. Exactly, yeah. I've one time they've gotten pissed off with I've done the same team talk constantly. Like every time we meet up for like they arrive for uh, international duty. I give the exact same team talk. Like we, we we're doing well, but you know, we could be doing better and all the lads are like, Yeah and, and except for the last time when they all went, No Um but this is the the game against Peru that I failed to show you. Kekesh scored and we can see the two goals. Nagy missed the penalty fairly early on. It was a pretty meh kind of game. Um, Shaloi picked up a knock. He wasn't fit to to join the squad. So what are you going to do? Look uh, at looking at the, the table. We are one point behind Denmark. We're the only team in the league, in the group to have not drawn a game yet. Azerbaijan and Estonia did end up drawing nil all. Are we going to qualify for another major tournament while having two exceptional teams in our group? Hmm. Anyway, we will be back for the Trinidad and Tobago game um, in just a second. So, or do I bother showing it now? Maybe I'll just come back and, sh and show you the, the result, unless something interesting happens. I don't, I'll see, I'll, I'll decide in, in a second. So I'll see you guys in a second. Reg regardless, I'm going to bring you back because I need to sign, do like a sign out and whatnot. So, see you guys in a second. Me. Alright, fellas, we are back now for the game against Trinidad and Tobago. I did forget that I had wrote down on a piece of paper alongside me to show you this game. Um, it was the International League semi final, blah, 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 blah. Um, eight five, they finished. France eight, Italy five. The insanity, and then the England Germany game ended one 0 Um, then Germany beat Italy two one, and France beat England one 0 But the fact that France and Italy ended eight five, if I didn't show you, how could I clickbait the video? <laughs> Anyway, we are going to play the game against uh, Trinidad and Tobago now. Um, Denmark play Azerbaijan in our group and Spain play Estonia.
Macedonia, uh, coming off the victory against Spain, which, again, very unexpected, we have made wholesale changes. Uh, there is... Only, oh, I actually have somebody on my, on my starting 11 that, I actually don't know, I'm going to put a, uh, someone of Atney there, and I'm going to play Kleisenheisler as my midfielder. So, literally, the entire starting 11 is different to the starting 11 that played against Spain, purely because I want to just give everyone a chance in the first team. I'm, I am playing three strikers in this game, rather than the none I played against Spain. Um, but Dibish comes in in goal with uh, Gezart and Karash as our wingbacks, who are both fullbacks, but I'm going to play them as wingbacks because I don't care. This is how I play. The players will play the way I want them to. Uh, Pap and Gaspar play as our central defence partnership. William and Kleisenheisler in central midfield with Samonka just ahead of them. Uh, Christopher Vida and Soma Novotny on the wings. With Gabber Fur up front. Uh, the only player that isn't in this team that was in the last one is Kovacic. And I probably will bring him in at some point. Just so I can say I played every single one of the players that I called up to the team. Um, ideally, for the next game we play, we will have Job at the back. Um, I don't think it's that long of an injury um, I think he probably would be back just after this game so he should be in the, the squad for the next lot of games um, yes your chance to impress me now do so um, who is motivated I don't want to talk to you because you're already motivated but I'm gonna so I'm gonna calmly say there's a lot more to come for me nobody gives a flying dick. Gabar for oh, natural choice. Natural choice. The guy who everyone thinks isn't good enough to play for Hungary is captain. You know, logical, logical sense. I think uh, there is two players on our team that are only scheduled to play forty-five minutes, um, and I have four on the four on the bench. Wow. I know it's it's a, a nothing game, but it is nice to just give players a chance. Where did I praise them? I meant mean, I mean to demand more. Um, it is nice to just give players an opportunity to go out, play against a smaller country. Um, <laughs> that, did, that did not look like a penalty, but okay. Um, I'm just going to leave someone about to take it. Oh, he puts it into the top of the net. I think that's his second goal for the country for Hungary. Absolutely, boots it into the top of the goal. And it's going to tell. Let's get creative. I did mean mean to say demand more in the last one when I and when I praised them after a couple of like couple of minutes of them doing sweet fuck all praising team. Eh, not a good idea. Um, it's been a fairly meh kind of game so far. Um, but Gazart running down the wrong wing, whips it over to Gabor Fair, whips it across. Christopher Vida, his second goal for Hungary. Both my wingers have now scored. Absolutely beautiful. The point of this game was so that Gabor Fair could score some goals. Not working out that way so far. Um, I might just change to a three up front um, for the second half and just see how everyone gets on. Just play Chris Vida as a pressing forward and someone about me as the target man I think he wants to be. At least I think that's what uh, what he wants to be. I'll just leave him play what he wants because who am I to deny the man what he wants to do? That was close. Yeah, just play more centrally. Or I could have the two wingbacks who aren't wingbacks play attack. Make them run up and down the pitch. But even just us playing some of these younger players increases their value. 
and like Gabor Poser, who hasn't played for the first team yet, but has been uh, like a staple of the under twenty ones. He got a move to Lille recently, so like even being in the fray for your country, like being looked at, and everyone kind of going, you know, this guy could be a could be decent. Still, it's good enough to. Uh, I'm gonna say don't get complacent. Um, it's still it's still enough to make teams look at you and go, Do you know, this guy actually is pretty pretty decent. So you're gonna pressing forward, and you can be. Yeah, go on, just be a target man. Who am I to deny you what you desire? Um, and I am going to put. Uh, just maybe I just leave the two of them on support, and we see. Um. Yeah, I want to see what happens if I, I want to see what happens when I do this. Uh, Kovacis, Kovacis is going to come on. I'm going to make him sweeper keeper and defend. Who else needs to come off? Kleisen Um I'm going to bring on Zabazali in the box to box. Because he is good at being a box to box player. And he's only going to play the 45 minutes that they wanted him to play. Assuming nothing happens to him. But my left back cracks crass. I I don't know how to enunciate the afflictions on the A's, but I'm gonna just say assume it's Kalak Krakus. No. Oh someone of Otney tried to dink it dink it across but did not work out for him. And Kalash puts it out for a throw. All the way back to the keeper. I'm assuming that's Vida because he's the pressing forward. No, because there's Christopher Vida. Give her fair. Another penalty. And Zabazali is to take this one. Ah, Zabazali is my favourite player. I'm going to leave him take it. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Dominic, do not miss. Straight down the middle. Oh, give the keeper the eyes. But, oh, I'm going to go. Bye-bye, Boshed it so hard down the middle. Um, I think he he recently signed a contract with uh, Salzburg, so he will not be going to Liverpool at this juncture in time. Um, I didn't realize John Bostock was on their team. I thought it was a, a new gen Bostock. The oh, fair with I think that's his second goal for for Hungary as well. I think my. Strike force that is starting this game have all scored their second international goals. Let me check. So, Casper V or Casper Christopher Vida, who spent most of his time playing as a right winger for us, got his second. Geber Fair thirteenth game and his first goal. So many in his eighth game, his first goal. So yeah, a lot of players scoring their second goals. Uh, Zabazali with his fifteenth. So you know. I think it's fair to say that um, Subzali, who I know I'm saying it incorrectly, I'm doing it on purpose. He um, he's definitely done bits, and I'm going to take off fair because he's exhausted. I'm going to bring on Rado as the Trakwatista. I just love saying Trakwatista. Is there anyone I want to bring on? Not really. Kind of happy to just see leave the rest of the lads see out the next 10 minutes anyway. Maybe I do bring on somebody. Actually, I need to change Nagy from a deep line to roaming. Um, so we've made four. So we can make two more substitutions. I'm going to bring on... I'm going to take off Simona, bring, put Zabazali up into the attacking midfield position and I will bring on Made Vida and off the bench I want to bring on Kekesh. Why not? We bring him on for Made Gaspar, who, to be fair to him, has been having 
an absolute worldly of a game for a youngster who, according to uh, my assistant, isn't very good. Both Swain puts the ball past the keeper who doesn't play very often. And I wonder why. This would have been the kind of game where I playing Hutch Wagner would have been like my go to, but because I decided not to call Hutch Wagner up, we um we couldn't. I ain't gonna pray it to the lads. We're four one up. Not much else can happen really. Player gets sent off maybe, but Rado doesn't quite get there. Trinidad and Tobago break again. John that was, it looked like it was going wide anyway, but the keeper got a touch to it. Make sure, you know, you don't want to be second guessing yourself. So bizarrely, pings the ball out, goes to absolutely nobody. Um, but yeah, there's been some quite interesting transfers of late. Um, hopefully Karash doesn't make a mistake here, does not, just clears it. Christopher Vida gets dispossessed. Trinidad and Tobago, to be fair to him, are really trying to get back into this game. Levy Garcia with his, or this, with Trinidad's second. It's going to end 4-2, my friends. 4-2. Kind of takes the gloss off the game. You know, makes it look like it was closer than it was. To be fair, they had one shot less on target. But we had four clear-cut chances. To their one and they had three half chances towards zero. Gazart just boots it clear, gets it out of there, doesn't want anything to do with it. Game ends 4 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Bostock is playing for Juve Stabia. He has had a very interesting career since he left Tottenham. Went to Toronto. Beautiful Toronto. Absolutely love Toronto. Um, Antwerp. Well, that's what I thought. Leuven. Then Lane versus Four, Toulouse, Udinese, and now Juve Stavia. Fair enough. Well travelled. Plenty of stamps on his passport. That was a good win for us, lads. Well done. Happy. Happy. Joy. Joy. Um, so, be interesting to see now, actually. How did our group do? Uh, Denmark beat Azerbaijan 1-0. Spain beat Estonia 3-0. Puts us back in third. We do have a game in hand. Four points behind Denmark. Mm. The next set of games, we do have the easiest of, the, of our runs where we play Azerbaijan and Estonia. So that sets up the final two games where ideally we beat Azerbaijan and Estonia. Knowing us, we won't. But if we can beat the two of them, we go into the last two games with at least a slim chance of qualifying for the Euros. And that would be every single major tournament qualified for that we could have since I've taken over. Now, I think that that would be fantastic if we could make it to a second Euros after qualifying for the first Euros in this career and then qualifying for the World Cup two years later and then qualifying for the Euros two years later again. If we can just keep qualifying for tournaments, that would be fantastic. Our reputation is now 50%. <laughs> and we speak fluent Hungarian. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, we will be back for the Azerbaijan-Estonia games, which is going to be in just over one month from now. Um, if you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, make sure to dislike, unsubscribe, leave a mean comment, tell me I stink, or my hair is stupid, or whatever. Um... Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, you will join me for the next set of games that we play. Um, which will be in a couple of days, because this is going out Wednesday. The next episode is not until Saturday. 
But yeah, hopefully we can qualify for another Euro Rose. Uh, I'm really enjoying this series, and I hope you are too. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.